Hi everyone, I'm back for another unboxing and I'm pretty excited because today is the statue that I've been waiting for. I mean, it's about six months, about seven months that I've been waiting for that one. It's Ufabito Trunks against Goku. Uh, when uh, Goku came back from Namek, just arrived on Earth, and when Trunk tries strengths uh, with his finger, you know, Goku stop all the blades uh, of Trunk. But let's stop talking. I just want to unbox it and see what's inside the box. And let's do it. So guys, that's the box, super heavy. The box is actually pretty big. So let's open it. I know normally Ofobito don't do like a hard box, so I'm gonna skip the box part. Go straight to the unboxing, yeah. Nothing inside, just foam. Let's do it, I'll put it on the side. Ooh, look good. I got number 10. Nice. I like to get small number. Super happy for that. Hope nothing is broken. By the way, I'm gonna try to put gloves on. I don't know if it's better to put gloves on, but now I should try because every, every time I look at a statue, I can see like uh, finger marks. So now I'll try to work some gloves. Let me know down below if it's worth it, if you guys use gloves when you do unboxing, when you touch your statue, because I know that leave marks, so I'll put gloves now. It's a pain, but keep the statue better for sure. It's like you're going to the doctors. Everything will be fine. Okay, so we have the AC adapter, and we got the base. The base actually pretty big, guys. Like. I didn't think it was going to be that big. Wow. So I got number 10 out of 300. That's pretty sick. That's really awesome. Let's put that here. So let's see if something's broken. Looks like everything is fine. We got the button in the front. The Z of the Dragon Ball right there. But let's do the rest. We got the aura effect. It's actually super nice. Magnet. Easy. Easy to put. Sorry, the mic is a pain. Flip around every single time. I don't know if you guys hear me better with the mic now. I just got this mic. So you guys can hear me better. Looks sick. The aura is super well done. I like Ofibito a lot. I just pre-ordered the Gohan with g -Ross. That one's gonna be epic. I can wait to get it. So we got Goku's body. Super well done. Really nice details on it. I'll get some close up. So Goku will go right here. Now we got trunks. Really cool. No texture on the pants, but I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's actually looking really good. I can't wait to see it all together. It going like that. It's pretty scary to put it. What else do we got? So we got one arm here, two arms. So we got two arms, the capsule, corp logo, the other arm. I think that's going like that. Maybe I need to put the sword first. The Dragon Ball logo. That is actually looking really good. I don't know if you guys can see. But that's where you see good studio 
when they make a good logo, when you look at Exceed, every single Exceed logo doesn't look that good. The Dragon Ball Z logo doesn't look that good. I don't know why. Nice. That's pretty cool. So guys, we got the Yadra um, spaceship, super small, that goes on the back right here. That's pretty cool that they include that, to think about it. Let's go with the face. So we got Goku's face right there. Just turned Super Saiyan to show Trunks that he's good. The, the, detail, the details on the face and the sculpt is really good. I like it. It's like serious. Like, what are you doing to me? The only thing that I will say about Ofobito, and I have the same problem with uh, my Vegeta and my Goku um, from uh, Dragon Ball Super, is the face always when you put it, it will move a lot. But, I mean, it's not like you can see it or it will do something, but it always like doesn't fit well. Or it feel like it doesn't fit well, but it, it does fit. Let's see Trunks. Trunks face pretty cool too. I love Trunks, he's like one of my favorite characters with Vegeta for sure, so that statue is really nice. Let's see how his face fit. Same thing, it doesn't fit like at all, I mean, but it's, it works. So now I'll go for the sword or something. That's the plug. So we got the sword here, nice. So we got the sword. So let's see how it goes. I don't know how. I have to like, oh, just like that. Nice. So where's Goku's? So I got Goku's arm with the finger, and I got the back of the sword. Boom. And then this one, that's where the finger goes. So we got the back of Trunks' sword. I don't know where it's going. Where it's going. And we got the belt that I guess will hide. And also the card that I have to show you. Really happy that I got the 10 out of 300. I really like low numbers. So let's stop talking and let's do some close up look at some 360 views. Super nice statue, all the details, the base, really look like sand. Goku's look amazing and I love Yadra outfit. The face look really, really good. From every angle is different. So if you look at that way, maybe, well not say it's perfect, but when you go straight, I mean, damn, that's Goku for sure. And in trunks, Boom, right there, next to Vegeta on the back. Father and son, right there. I like it. So, awesome statue. Only thing that I'm wondering is this, how to fix that, how to make a touch. Is it possible to make a touch? I don't know. But I'm guessing, I'm sure they will tell me how to, to make it like that. But awesome statue of Fabido, you killed it, as usual. That scene, I mean, come on. Remember that? Boom, he's trying to try Goku's strength, see how he's strong or not. And that's really, really, really cool. 
So let's see the light up function. So rather to do the light up function, you have to like lift it up and press that button right here and boom. So it's not easy to actually activate them, but when it's on, it's pretty nice. If you look at it, I mean, the light up is pretty bright and it will go straight to Goku's face and Trank straight to Trunks as well. So that's it guys, that was my review and my unboxing about that amazing statue. I'm super happy, I love that statue, I think it looked great. Um, overall, super good statue. I know uh, in video it's super hard to realize the size of that statue, but it's actually a really big statue for a 1-6 scale. Um, but super happy that I do have that in my collection. Only one thing, maybe that, I hope, maybe I can fix it with maybe with the hairdresser or something to make it touch so it look better. But except that is perfect, every detail of it, the trunks, I mean, I love it, the face, everything. Again, Ophobuido, I don't know if that's on purpose, but the head is slightly moving on all of your statue. All of the one that I have from you are slightly moving. I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but I mean, it will fit perfect and it's awesome. But it's scary every time you put it in. It's a little scary. But again, love that statue. So if you do like that unboxing, remember guys, subscribe, leave the thumbs up. That really do help the channel grow and make me want to do more unboxing. Uh, I can thank you enough for watching that video again. If you do like it, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.